Welcome to another video of creating 2D autographic projection drawing using Autodesk AutoCAD for figure 3, question 3a. So let's head over to page 3-14 and have a look at the question. So this is what is given, okay, your drawing. You are provided two autographic views. Okay, one is the front view, okay, from our question here is a third angle projection. So the right end view does come from the right side and we have this red arrow indicating that we need to complete a plan view okay so the first step when creating this kind of question is always to copy out the question okay so head over to this top right hand corner left click once and let go bring it down to the bottom left and left click once more we will copy it so that in case there's any trouble with the first drawing we can yeah quickly restore it to the original drawing press escape to end it now since we are drawing a plan view in third angle projection okay we have to we are required to draw a 45 degree line okay the 45 degree line always starts from your front view so let's do that line construction line for layers and then we begin from this corner here since our right hand view is here so our 45 degree line is always between your end view and your plan view so have have a virtual uh, layout being done in your head first so from here make sure your polar tracking is switched on and it is set at 45 degree once it's done Make sure it's 45 degree and for now the length is not too critical so left click once and you can escape to end the line command what's next is uh, we would like to know how big or how small is our plan view so let's draw more construction lines okay but in this case in this time we are going for the extreme entities so this is one okay there's nothing else further than that and this is the beginning portion here let's do that so line construction line layer beginning from this corner here bring it up and then we moved it to the left and for this case i will just use tracing method to end it as to how far it's supposed to be drawn now press escape spacebar once more from this corner here bring it up until it reaches the 45 degree left click Move it to the left same thing using tracing method left click once more but this time do not end it we will draw a vertical line downwards towards your front view spacebar to end the first command and spacebar again to repeat your yeah the line command again so left click here and bring it up here spacebar to end so what you can see here is actually an area or a boundary that you have to draw your plan view within it anything any lines that are uh, drawn away from this boundary okay exclude your center line okay any boundaries any outlines that is being drawn within it or if you exclude exceed it means it has uh, some errors there you need to double check on it all right so we have somehow get our boundary okay so let's label our views so that it's uh, much clearer for us so go to text command under here the layers change it to text and left click once drag it a little bit to call out a boundary box left click once more and type in front front view spacebar again left click and drag it a little bit and we will type here right hand view just click outside to uh, enter the code means enter the text spacebar once more to go into text mode and left click and drag it lower and left click once more and type in your plan view okay so this is just a brief indication that okay we have a front view here we have an end right hand view and a plan view at the top 
all right so now let's go into our 3d model here okay so we have a question here okay let me just swap over to another document we have a 3d model here okay let's head over to our 2d question okay so this is your front view okay the holes as indicated here a surface up front there's two surfaces here okay why do we know it's two surfaces is because it's broken down by a single line at, in between them okay so if let me rotate this 3d view you will notice that there are two surfaces of different height and we have this portion here that has is a single surface okay because there's nothing breaking it up in two lines okay so this is one single face as shown here you see one single face and the bottom portion here is as such all right so if we go into our autocad how can because you are not given the isometric or the 3d view correct so how do we know which part belongs to what so that's where we have to do some uh yeah clever guessing by using some uh, construction lines here and there okay so let's do that so click on line under our layers change back to construction but in this time i'll be changing it to a different color okay the color isn't important okay the purpose is just for us to easily visualize it okay so line construction line and then let's change another color so let's talk about this broken portion here okay so if you notice it has a very big uh, small plate here and then there's an opening a broken up portion okay from here since there's no line underneath it we know that there's no material within it okay so let's start from there left click once drag it horizontally and left click once more so from here we can understand that this opening or this uh, without any solid here is actually referring to this cutout so from here you can know that the cutout cuts across all the way through okay it doesn't only cut out from the back end here with material here because that will look slightly different means with an a close line all the way through here okay with this it indicates that it's being cut all the way across okay that's one one more will be this portion here so line okay construction line let's change the color to slightly brighter pink from here to here space bar space bar once more from here until here so we can understand that this small segment here okay just now we were talking about different uh, height of the surface right so phase one is this height phase number two is slightly lower so line let's change the color to slightly blue so it's much more obvious until here okay so from this portion here we know that this face belongs to this line so let me just draw an overlay okay so let me change it to outline let's go back to the same color that i've chose just now from here to here to here and here okay so this shape here is belonging to this line here so let me just match property by ma as a shortcut space bar select this original line that we want to copy over and swap it over so you can see here that boundary is actually related to this fella here all right now same thing for this portion okay let me draw a line outline but this time with this blue color our overlap for the purpose of just uh, easy visualization from here to here close now i will also 
match property by entering MA spacebar select here and here so as you can see here there's two portion there's the pink color uh, face and the, there's a blue face here so the blue face actually refers to the segment at this area okay even this is actually blue color let me just change it to a different blue all right and if you were to trace it further away okay let me just extend this construction line you notice that at the back end here it also refers to this piece or this segment here so let's see ma to match property from here to this portion here of course it will cut across the whole boundary so let's draw l space bar and go across it all right so let's check whether our deduction is correct so in here this face and this face they are aligned correct and we have a step different step here across and so this is the pink area and this here is the blue boundary okay and at the same time as you can see here this is the broken portion broken off portion okay with that that's where you get this hidden line and this bottom hidden line okay so what i mean by that if you can see there's this hidden line here right so just imagine there's this solid piece that is of higher surface than this portion here and the back end here okay we are looking from the right side is also the same level as this surface obviously this pink color face is blocking it okay but this portion here will still be seen as hidden outline okay hidden line same thing for this portion this portion is also being cut by different outlines here All right and that outline is actually being on this face okay so this portion this face is actually talking about this line now let's draw more, more boundary boxes or more construction lines so that we can easily indicate where they are so line let's do this small portion first okay uh, this small portion will somehow occur somewhere here because if you do some imaginary lines it will be somewhere here so line construction line and for the lines here let's change it to pink okay let's bring it up all the way through space bar space bar once more to repeat and then this fella will be across also so let's overlay it space bar to repeat and from this corner here from the right end view we will bring it up and move it to the left until it touches the first color here space bar space bar once more to repeat and this step here we will bring it up and move it to the left as you can see here there are areas that intersect so for these two lines i will be shortening it so that yeah it's much clearer for us to visualize where the boundary of it so we understand that this face is coming out the most okay by this clue here so if we have this kind of uh, diagram here it will look like a rectangle but in solid outline so let's go to line ok 
Okay, outline, but this time I will draw from here to here to here and here. I will not be I will not be covering it because there's this bottom surface that actually exists below it. So if I were to look from the plan view, this outline, okay, or this outline that I'm going to draw, it should be shown as a hidden outline. So let's click it. Let's convert this to hidden outline. But this time, the color should be different. Let me just hide my construction line by clicking on this light bulb. So this is the outline of this segment here. Outline, 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 because it's the most outermost feature. But this hidden line is being shown as your bottom surface here, which is this light blue color. So let me just mesh property it, MA, from here until here. Okay, because it belongs to this surface here. Let me switch on the construction line again. Now, to draw this blue color, so line, construction line, and change it to blue now. From here upwards, and let's do it all the way across. Okay, spacebar, spacebar once more to restart. Oh. It seems like my line is missing. Let me just redraw it again. Line, construction line, change it to blue. From here, upwards, draw go it all the way through because the blue is also on this surface. And then from this corner here, I will cut until here. And this guy, I will just extend until here. All right. So with that, I can actually draw a boundary now. Okay, so line, outline, okay, starting from here to here, close here, downwards here, this way, and then ends here. I'll repeat the same for this portion here. Okay. Oops. Actually, I don't. I have created it wrongly. Okay. So this blue portion here should end somewhere here. So let's shorten this. I will be moving this fella upwards. Click the center portion here and drag it further and from here all the way to this corner so it's always best to double check your drawing again okay to make sure that you have done the correct drawing now the back end okay, is quite solid here so it should cover everything across okay because this yellow piece okay this line here okay if you project it upwards, it should show a face. So line, outline, click by layer since we are on default is yellow color. From here to here, here, and we enclosed it. All right. Okay. So at the same time, let's off our construction line. We notice that this face is the lowest among this one and two. So this one, the highest of it here and this portion here, which is not indicated across here. Okay, so you see this yellow piece? If you imagine this, it will be somewhere across all the way through. So click on line because it's hidden. We should use hidden outline from here all the way through here, space bar, space bar once more, and we will end it until the other side. Okay. So with that, we have somehow finished up this small segment here. Okay. Now, 
let's not forget our host okay so uh, as you can see the host is quite simple uh, always go for the simple one so that yeah you can complete the feature so let's switch on our construction line uh, for this case maybe uh, not drawing the construction line will do because too many construction lines will give you will just confuse you okay so line let's use center line okay use the tracing method bring 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 up we will point it until the two ends intersect left click and drag it up all right and this time the hole we will copy this line so click on that line first click on copy select this portion as your base point okay if you can see that line will co be copied across so using tracing method left click once again repeat the process using the tracing method left click for the right portion now we can escape and we just need to remember to change these two lines as hidden lines so to match property ma space bar select this hidden line and we change these two lines and for the center center line here we just need to extend it by 5 mm both ends okay but take note when we extend it the line did not change into a long short long so to change it we need to go into property mode left click to select that line right mouse click and select properties and under the line type scale change it to 0 0.5 okay so just half the value uh, it should change somehow if it doesn't change keep yeah reducing the value of the scaling all right we have drawn one of the holes now next is to actually copy this whole line okay and yeah paste it over about this portion here okay so this time i will be using the blue window selection okay because i would only need to select this one two three so we begin from left top here left click once and let go and bring it down to the bottom right hand corner and left click once more now click on copy now read on the uh, the prompt command prompt they ask you specify the base point select here as your base point do not select here because it's there's nothing to for you to base or origin it so select here bring it up using tracing method and left click once more so you are actually simplify the simplifying the drawing because you don't need to keep drawing these three lines again and again okay always look for patterns and if you can yeah just copy the pattern so we have somehow completed well, yeah the, the top portion of the body and what's left is actually the bottom segment here all right so this bottom segment here there's this broken portion right i mean as uh, what we have discussed in the beginning this bottom segment here is uh, cut out throughout the whole part okay so means from the plan view it should also cut out across everything so let's do that line draw a construction line but this time let's change the color to maybe orange from here draw it upwards i will draw it until here because that's where it begins okay okay so why it begins here is because even though from this drawing it begins slightly higher okay here but this solid body here that is on top of it will actually indicate it as a hidden line so that's why i will stop it until here spacebar spacebar again to repeat once more left click once more again until here all right so this portion here all the way across will be hidden line for this portion here all the way across is also hidden line so let me just change the color here so it will be pretty obvious that is orange and this hidden line will be also by orange color okay so it goes all the way across 
All right, so let's draw the hidden line, line, hidden line, and from here all the way through is orange hidden line. And for this case, since there's already a hidden line there, okay, uh, we shall not uh, overlap it any further because yeah, too many overla overlapping uh, hidden lines will cause to co will change it into a, a complete outline. So we wouldn't want that. All right, so let's draw the shape now of this bottom segment here so it goes up across so line outline let's change it to normal color so this portion here just this portion will be somewhat here 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 and for this portion here will be okay let's trace so that it's much clearer from here downwards until this orange line and it cuts until here and we repeat the same for this portion here so line space bar from here till here until here we end it here okay if you notice this portion here that is the cutout so we cut all the way through and we have the hidden line across here and one more hidden line across here so maybe let me just change the color here to orange changing it to orange and yeah okay so once we have done that it's always best once we think that we have completed everything it's always best to just hide your construction outline okay and check everything again so this portion here it cuts across here and then after that it becomes a hidden line hidden line we have two holes here okay this portion with center line this portion with center line this one two three okay three surfaces one one two three sorry not not this yellow portion this yellow portion belongs to the bottom piece okay this pink color which is this surface blue this surface and the remaining is this portion here so yep one two three and the bottom portion is as such so with that we can slowly and surely draw out your third view from the existing two views all right happy trying <laughs>